Right, today we are rehabbing the squat, and this is part one. We're going to focus on the ankles to start with, and we've got Aaron here, who's my personal trainer. Um, Aaron's an exercise physiologist, and he's going to show us and demonstrate us what is happening with the ankle um, and the problems you get with squatting and how we're going to rehab that and fix that to help your squat and prevent injuries further up the chain. So with the ankle, Aaron, if you go through a squat, what, what we want to work on is making sure that we've got enough range and dorsiflexion for the ankle. If you don't, you have to compensate at some point. So when Aaron goes into a squat, if he runs out of range in the ankle here, what's going to happen is he's, he's either going to keep going at one side and that's going to skew him in his pelvis. He's going to rotate to one side. Um, and this can happen from an old ankle sprain or an Achilles problem or even just a tight calf that prevents him going forward. So sometimes it's in the joint, so the actual joint structure is not moving. So if you've got your tibia and fibula here and your tail is sitting in here, when he comes forward, if you may come forward for me, Aaron, when he comes forward, if he's tight and he's captured for an old ankle track, it'll jam and then you'll get a pinch, so he'll stay away from that and rotate away. Or he compensates through the hip, like you might find the hair has to actually bend down and drop down on one side, which you know it's not going to be great for your squat, especially when you're loaded. So we've got to make sure that if you see that, you've got to address it and get it looser. Um, and we'll go through some things in a minute. The other thing is pronation. So, and that's the hidden one. Usually, when people pronate, their knee rolls in. So if you're looking from the front, when he when he goes through a squat, so if you go through a squat. If his ankle pronates just naturally, okay, then his knee's going to come out of alignment. He's going to roll in. Now, to try and get his knee in alignment, he's going to have to try and lift that arch, which we'll show you in a minute. So, if you're looking from the back, go from the back. So, Aaron naturally pronates on his left ankle, which is fine. Um, if you look at this ankle, when he squats down, it tends to roll in a little bit. Okay, compared to this one. Can you see this one here? And this one tends to roll in a bit. Now that's fine if you can control it, but if it's causing knee pain, obviously we really have to address that. Um, so ideally, we want him up into here. Now the trick of getting him up into there is making sure he's got, um, if he's got flat shoes, he's going to have to try and work on doing it from up in here. And having a pronated ankle like that does cause problems up in the chain. So his hip control may not be quite as good on that, and that's where we have to work on doing some hip work to improve the movement here, the external rotation of the knee, and external rotation of the hip, to lift up his arch and get his alignment better. Because if he doesn't, you turn around and face the knee. You know. If he doesn't work on his hip control here and get his knee external rotated when he squats, he'll, his ankle will just force him inwards. So no matter, if, no matter how good his technique is, if the strength's not enough, when the load goes on, because of his ankle pronation that happens naturally, he just forgets about it, it'll just roll his knee in. Okay, and that's going to start causing a knee pain when he loads on the squat. Right? The other time you can see pronation happen is if you do run out of range in the ankle, so when you come forward, what might happen is you might stop, or you try and get more range by rolling the knee in, and that actually gets more range going forward. Unfortunately, it forces pronation, and sometimes can be the actual cause of pronation, is having, having a tight ankle from ankle sprain, and then the body goes, well, how am I going to get that range going forward? Well, I'll just roll the knee in. Okay. So, how are we going to fix that? We need to work on external rotation of the knees, and you'll see this a lot when we come to the knees in the hip section of the squat rehab. But ideally, to help the pronation, we need to make sure he's lifting up. And it's not just arching the foot. What I would do is try and, with the foot, think about externally rotating the foot, okay, but without moving the foot. All right, so external rotating the foot, which brings the knees out, which is great for knee alignment. And then it helps the shot here. And then he's got to try and maintain that. There you go. And you'll see him maintain his better alignment when he squats. Of course, if he's an external rotator, he's got a deeper squat as well. Right. But for the dorsiflexion, if he's running out of range there, so say he's got a stiff ankle, 
then we'll go and do some power cleaning. So, what I like to use is a power band to assist the dorsiflexion. Now, this is just the same as a physio gliding the joint, but of course, this is doing it by yourself. So, for this sort of exercise, what we try and do is get enough tension on here that when he bends his knee forward in dorsiflexion, it's gliding the tibia and the fibula forward like it should be. Right? So it's actually stretching that joint as he moves forward okay? to try and clear that impingement, clear that tightness through there. And to advance that, he needs to pull back, put his foot or his heel on the ground, coming into here, and this is where you might have to go a little higher with that, and then he pushes his knee forward in that position, which gives him a wee bit more, you see he's a bit stuck in that range there. So once you've got a little bit more range, then you can get this really pulling forward and getting, getting right into it. And the more you improve that dorsiflexion range like this, the more it's going to move forward when you squat, and the less problems you have.